Hello everyone and welcome to Old School Hunter. Halloween is over and now it's time for the Christmas season. And during the Christmas season I'm using digital decorations as well to decorate my home. And therefore I use the videos of Atmos FX and I will provide the link for these videos down in the description. The projector I use in this video today is the ViewSonic M2E and I already created an unboxing video about the projector here on my channel and I will provide the link here. So if you have more time later on just feel free to watch this video. And now let me show you more about the Christmas decoration I use. For Hallusion I use the videos in portrait format and therefore I mount the projector on the tripod by using the ceiling mount of the M2E. Then I place the Hallusion material in front of the door by using some wall hooks. And here I brought the original Hallusion material from Atmos FX. I place the projector sideboards to a door so that you don't see it immediately when you look at the projection. Here you can see the offset of the projector to the door. I copied the Atmos FX videos to a micro SD card and used the integrated card reader of the M2E to play back the videos. Since the projector is sideways next to the door, the image is distorted. But this can be corrected very easy by using the four corner adjustment of the M2E. And then we can start the show and our Santa Claus welcomes us after opening the door. The sound you hear comes directly from the built-in speakers of the projector. And at the right edge of the door you can see the projector peaking a little bit. We watch Santa Claus until he's done and then we come back to a snowman in our room. And here comes our funny snowman. Who can say they have a snowman right in their room? Here you can see a small issue with illusion. On the left edge of the door you can see the image of the projector too, because the Hallusion material is translucent. That means you get a second image, in my case it is behind the camera on the wall. So you have to keep that in mind when setting up the projector. But it doesn't always have to be the door. Another possibility to hang the Hallusion material is in the middle of the room.
The second projection I use during Christmas season is the window projection. But unfortunately the halution material is too small for this 3 pane window, so I use translucent foil as a projection surface which I attach to the window with tape. Since the projector's in the room but I want the sound outside of the window, I use a Bluetooth speaker which I connect directly to the M2E. For this we go to the Bluetooth menu, then click the right button to start scanning for Bluetooth devices. And we are ready to go. Here you can see a short inside view of the window projection. But since this is not what we want to see, we will now switch to the outside view. Here we are outside the window and can admire the projection. The sound is played from the Bluetooth speaker that is paired with the ViewSonic M2E. The speaker is placed right below the camera in this case. And now let's sit back for a short moment and enjoy our Christmas workshop of Atmos FX projected on the window using the ViewSonic M2E. And here's another short example of a projection called Yuletide. It is a colorful window that keeps changing over time. So right, you see there are many things you can do with digital decoration during Christmas time. 
The illusion effect itself is very cool, but it needs a little bit effort and space to set up. You need some kind of door frame or hallway to set up the illusion material, but the effect itself is very cool seeing Santa Claus or the snowman running right through your home. Another possibility to set up the illusion effect is outside in the garden. If you do so, please make sure to set up the projector in a way so that it's weatherproof. I'm using the digital projections on my windows and from the 1st of December until the 24th of December the projections are running in the evening hours. And in the last years the children were very happy to see the snowman and Santa Claus running right through my windows. So we are at the end of this video and I hope I could give you some insights about my Christmas projections. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please give me a thumb up. If you have questions about the project, write them down in the comment section, but don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the updates around the topic of digital decoration here on my channel. So in the end, all I can say is thanks for watching, until next time and Merry Christmas.